So when you think about cybersecurity, then you cannot disconnect it from technology because cybersecurity is basically was created to fix technology. If technology was working properly, then cybersecurity industry wouldn't exist and I wouldn't be there talking to you. So there is a very tight correlation between the evolution of technology and I chose some simple graph that shows, for example, the amount of devices versus the, the, the amplification of cybersecurity industry and attacks. This is a timeline of uh, uh, cyber uh, threats. The start actually of the graph is on 1997. And this is my first job after the army. I was in the computing unit of the army and my first job was as a vice president of R&D of an antivirus company. And back then we had something around like one virus a day. Like one new virus a day and it was okay. Um, people that remember that time, so you could have an infected computer and you sent it to the technician and it was tolerable. But when you see the graph, you see that something happened on 2010 and 2013. And this ramp up is what I call the second wave of cybersecurity. And it was created for several reasons, but one of the main reasons is what is called in the professional jargon, polymorphic attacks. And at the beginning, when virus creators were creating a virus, you could actually find this virus by taking a signature. And a signature means you get a virus, you find a unique pattern that identify this virus, and then the antiviruses are looking for these patterns in, uh, in files. And this way you could find viruses. The attackers at 2013 invented something that you could, as a virus creator, you could create one virus, but then you put it into a machine, and that machine creates millions of variations of these viruses. And these millions of variations of these viruses were able actually to bypass all antiviruses. And this is the reason that we have, I think, all the cybersecurity industry up for today, that attackers created some kind of level of complexity and sophistication that defenders were not able to cope, to cope with it. And today the industry is actually evolving with that. This is a graph that shows <laughs> investments in cybersecurity technologies. And one thing to notice here is that the big wave in investment is happening on 2015. This is the, the, the four bar in the graph. And it also reflects the state of mind of cybersecurity industry, which is always an afterthought. So the way it works is that people invent technologies in a very accelerated pace. We know about innovation and we know about time market pressures. So there is a lot of technologies, but security is not necessarily inside of them. And what is happening is that the industry is inventing patches and fixes into those technologies. So this is the 2015 is the wave that is supposed to fix the problems that were created on 2013. And this is a very small glimpse into the current cybersecurity industry, where uh, uh, currently you see here, I don't know, maybe around 150 companies, startup companies, but this is one tenth of the cybersecurity industry. So currently we have a very live ecosystem of cybersecurity. We have both a very rich cyber attackers uh, uh, ecosystem, but we have also a very rich cyber defense ecosystem.